Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the WSK North American Series round number two here at Formula K Raceway in Glendale, Arizona. Tag Senior next up, and we'll see if Neil Alborico can continue his winning streak from Newcastle. We've got a green flag. We are racing in Tag Senior, right, green, 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 into one. It's all about Alborico right now. Mitch running a strong second. We gained third. England, Barnett, and Pierce are capping off the six drivers. But Taylor Mitch found some speed. He's gained about two to three tenths. And look at we gained at Barnett as well. Barnett now under a second back. Oh, oh. throw it together. Coming back through over to turn number 11. Look at Mitch trying to get down to the inside. He's got him. They're side by side. Coming out of 11 through 12. No, he's not going to do it. Alberico, your winner. In the Comer Cadet class, visiting Canadian driver Parker Thompson looking for the win for Tony Cartwest. We are That's racing good. here. Hunter Corbett moves up to second spot. Parker Thompson with the lead. Hunter Corbett runs second. Davey Manthai in third. And Zane Smith now fourth. That battle for fourth and fifth is Blaine Rocha and Stingray Rob. Zane Smith and Davey Manti are about two tenths quicker, but they are closing in. Thompson will go to the inside to try to hold the spot. A little bit of contact there. Smith goes through to take the position. Manthai on the outside. Thompson's going to try back to the inside coming through. Smith is your leader. Coming out of turn number 12. Zane Smith is going to win this. Zane Smith is your winner. Parker Thompson second. Next up is KF3, and Raquel Martinez will be looking for her first WSK North America's victory. We've got a green flag finally here in the KF3 class through 11 here right now. A little trouble there for Raquel Martinez as Chalut's trying to see if he can't match Martinez right now. The fastest driver on the racetrack right now is Madrigal. She's closed up on Martinez already. Madrigal with the top spot right now. Look at Martinez though with a great run. Here comes Martinez to the inside. Book it. Madrigal closes back up right on the apex, two lengths away. Coming through turn number 11. She gets a little bit of trouble for Martinez. Madrigal right there, tries to throw it inside. No, it's going to be Martinez, your winner. Next up, KF2. We'll see if Ari Met and Phil DeLeo can battle back after contact in the pre-final. Pretty good position here. We've got it. Green, green, green. Outside road, not the place to be. We met able to follow him right on through here right now. We met now your new leader. Wims it back to second. DeLeo right there in third. Wims it's really starting to find some speed here. This car is starting to come in late in the race. Your winner in KF2, Ari we met. Wimsett comes in second spot, and Phil DeLeo, third position. Joining me here, the club president for the Phoenix Kart Racing Association, Pete Boyle. One of the most historic sprint karting venues in the United States is right here at PKRA. Well, the track started, opened up as a public club probably a little over 20 years ago. And um, having guys like Buddy Rice, Indy 500 winner, J.J. Yaley, Danica Patrick's driven here, Scott Speed's driven out here, Michael McDowell. So we, we come from a long history of racing legends, you know, and up and coming racers also, you know, that helped bring this place to the spotlight. Our website is www.pkra.com and we are open six days a week. Rotax Minimax will see Dalton Sargent try to go three for three in racing action. Green, green, green. Racing into one. Someone going way wide around the outside. Someone spinning around, I don't know, three or four drivers off. We lost a bunch of them here. Big gaggle coming across for third. Right now it's Hunter Corbett leading the way. And Hunter Corbett off from third position. Dalton Sargent has slowed down Logan Sargent, his younger brother, right in his rear bumper. Logan's got a good run. Dalton to the inside. Here comes Logan to the inside to take him. Get down there, go deep. Oh, not quite enough. Checker flag going to fly. Dalton Sargent's going to hold him back. A great battle is expected in Leopard Jr. We'll see if Camden guys can hold off the charging juniors. We got it. Green, green, green. One start and racing in the final event of the day. Guys with a good start able to pull ahead there. So Sebastian Ordonez is in the 661 taking over the top spot. Geis right with him. The second off. Here's a move for the lead right now. Camden Geis goes back through. Here comes Ordonez to the inside. Contact there. Here comes Spalding through. Camden Geis and Sebastian Ordonez get together again. Again. Here we come around, though, the winner of our final race today in Leopard Jr., Kyle Spalding with the win.